Hey friends, today is stop five on our epic Walt Disney World Resort hopping staycation. We've already stayed at the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, the Wilderness Lodge, the Boardwalk, and tonight we are staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. Let's go do this. I love Animal Kingdom Lodge and I love Jumbo House too. Kidani is a fantastic resort as well, but my heart is always over here in Jumbo. I just love the lobby in here. Currently, Jumbo House is not operating 100%. In fact, most of the resorts aren't operating 100%, but there is not any food eateries in Jumbo House that's open. Everything is on the Kidani side, even the pool. So a lot of people have been flocking over there, but I'm excited to be here at Jumbo because it's like gonna be an empty resort, and I absolutely love that. Isn't this such a fancy port au -corche? I love all of the buildings here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I love the decor and the architect. It's just so breathtaking. And I also love how the front doors to go into the lobby kind of keep it a mystery. So if you're a first time visitor here and you've never seen the lobby of Animal Kingdom Lodge, it's really cool because the doors stay shut and it's actually like kind of closed off a little bit. So you get this grand reveal this is what I was talking about when you actually walk in here you can't actually see the lobby because everything is actually shut they have those little tiny square window spaces but the door is open for a grand reveal and this is what I was talking about look at this lobby isn't it huge it's beautiful I love all of the furniture all of the decor everything is just magical in here and that big window that's straight ahead is just a straight shot to look out at the savannah and see all the nifty animals and speaking of the animals it was definitely a must that we get a savannah view i am so excited for the sunrise we can take a look at the map here. This is Kidani over here and this is Jumbo. Another reason I decided I wanted to stay in Jumbo is because I wanted to catch the sunrise, which is gonna happen up here. So we actually have a room right there, I believe. Yes, it is uh, on the fifth floor, 5303. And we get a perfect shot of the sunrise, hopefully. If I stayed at Kidani, I would actually have all of the buildings at Jumbo in front of it. So I'm glad we made that decision. Like I said before, the resort is not even like 25% open. Actually, only the fifth floor is open and there is no eateries, food or beverage. They have vending machines, but everything's located over at Kidani. So it kind of makes it so that it's a completely empty resort and that really makes me happy it's definitely not every day you get to see this resort lobby like this this is so awesome I just heard somebody drop some pans that is literally how empty it is in here the Kilimanjaro Club which is the club level is on the sixth floor of the main lobby that's not open at the moment and they don't even have any savannah views from that area so i'm happy that we're actually on the outskirts because i want to see some pretty animals and some pretty sunsets it's going to be really nice and speaking of that i don't know if we should actually mander out there and take a look at the animals or should we actually just go to our resort room and see the view from there i think we're going to do both might as well get to the room first so I can drop off my bag. I don't have any luggage. All I do is bring uh, reusable Disney bags. They're not even reusable ones, but I reuse them. The hallway carpeting is also very awesome, but also take a look at this beautiful viewing area with some rocking chairs and a wonderful look at the savannah. I can't wait to see some animals. Another really nifty thing is as you're walking the halls, it actually has breaks of windows in between so you can take a look out onto the savannah and see if you can get a peek at some of the animals, like right here. See, isn't that kind of cool? Quick stop, that is a giraffe. Also want to point out the carpet changed and it's actually even better. Look at how pretty the elevators are as well. We're going all the way up. Fifth floor, please. Thank you. 
Ooh, pretty. Look at this, another little viewing area. Wow, look at that. I already see a bunch of zebras and coley cattle. This is a beautiful view right here. And look at this artwork on the side of the buildings. And there it is. 5303. That is us. Beep, beep, beep. I love it. As soon as I walked in the door, I set the room up, I turned all the lights on, shut the curtains so I can give you a grand reveal of the balcony and the savannah view, and then I FaceTimed my mom because we stayed here together at Kadani, uh, and it was her first Disney World Resort stay, so it was very sentimental for me to be back here. I know she cannot wait to get back, and I can't wait for her to come back down. And uh, I just wanted to show her the room first thing first, and now I want to show you guys the room give you the grand tour of all the nifty things that they got going on in here because there's a lot first things first is probably this really nice mirror here look at this it's so well decorated hello then we got our kitchen area all decked out with the nice wooden cabinets microwave toaster coffee maker look at that that's really pretty fridge fully stocked and it's just you know your regular kitchenette area but with a little elephant and giraffe or zebra zebra <laughs> this is the bathroom area and i like the lights actually the lights are like this in the whole entire room it's not so bright but it's just kind of pretty comes out great on camera look at the vanity area the mirror is nice and I was talking about these lights. It has a really nifty little design on it. And then, of course, the bathroom. No stand-up shower, but it's still a very beautiful bathroom. Ooh, I'm going to see the curtain. They always have pretty curtains in here. Look at that. That's a pretty curtain, isn't it? And around the corner is kind of where the bedding is and the chill-out area. Look at that bed. Isn't that nice? I love it. Four pillows, huh? Well, we know who the champion is. And we got a little stand here with a nice little couch. Some nifty art on the walls. It's a very homey feel actually in here. Oh, and then this mirror. Look at that, it has lights in it. That's really awesome. Actually, that's probably my favorite little mirror. The Wilderness Lodge one was really nice, but I like this one because it adds lights. I like this big chest area right here. Some good storage for your clothes. Extra pillows and blankets. Hair dryer. Safe. It's very nice. The big old TV. We're going to have to put on Stacy. And then some more drawers. They're all decorated and themed like so nicely, aren't they? I also appreciate how the coffee tables turn into end tables. <laughs> well, not really, but I think that's hysterical. A little fancy actual end table with a lamp. It's very pretty. Like I said, overall, it's just really homey and comfortable in here. I really like the atmosphere of these rooms. But being a big balcony and view guy, you know that this place is fantastic for that because there is literally a savanna full of animals right outside that window. I am so excited for that. Like that is probably the best view you can get other than the contemporary theme park view. I feel like that one is fantastic. Um, I would love to do that one eventually, but this is probably second best view. I don't know, what's you, what, what you guys' thoughts on that? What's, what's the best view you can get at Disney World? I mean, it's hard to beat that. Or the theme park view at the Contemporary. Clean and sanitized, ready for use. Let's get some Stacy going. Oh yes. So let's pull back the curtains here and get a look at the best thing about staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Look at that. 
beautiful. Oh, well, hello there. Oh, wow, what a view. I also love the view of the viewing area. Like, that's even awesome to look at. This is going to be great. I cannot wait to watch the sunrise. We're hopefully the sunrise is going to come up. It's going to take a little bit to peek over the tree line, but it should be pretty beautiful. And I am excited for that. And when it comes to patio and the patio size, this one is definitely the winner only because they have the soft seat metal frame, but there's a zebra in it makes it the winner. It's actually a pretty decent sized balcony too. Look at all of this. This is just so awesome. It's so quiet. I don't even want to talk. Like it's just. I don't know if you can hear the animals. But I can hear them. There's zebras out there. There's actually Ancoli cattle. All the really cool birds are hanging out over there. I'm gonna try to zoom in and show you guys all these nifty little birds. You got one in the plants right there ducking down. He must have seen I was zooming. Oh, there he is. And then, look at that flock of birds over there. And wait a second, there were two birds in that bush. Huh. And look at this big group of people over here hanging out. I didn't even see them. But that's pretty awesome. These two guys have been hanging out right out front of the balcony. They're very close. And I can literally hear them chewing and licking themselves. I think we're going to come back. And we're going to go explore around the resort a little bit. Just to give you a glimpse of all the different viewing areas. This is the main viewing area. But they have several different savannas. And they have... All a different name. I'm not sure what this Savannah name is. I know what it is, but it's just not coming to my mind right now. And uh, we're going to go look at some of the other ones and maybe hop over to Kadani and take a look at that resort as well because this is like an activity or an attraction on its own. We will definitely be getting a lot more footage of the Savannah, but now, like I said, I want to explore the resort a little bit. I'm trying to shut these doors. Thank you. How many people do you think stop and just sit here and take a look out at the beautiful view? I love it. So now we're going to make our way out to Kidani and we're going to catch the bus that's going to take us on over there. It is a little bit of a distance so I would not recommend walking. And as we wait for the buses, the storm cloud is rolling in, ran into some friends and they're coming over to Kidani with me. We're taking a bus to Kadani. Yep, yep. <laughs> and we're going to hear thunder pretty soon. That was some intense lightning. I counted to five and then all of a sudden the thunder hit. So I heard that that means it's five miles away. I don't know if that's true or not. We had to retreat back up under the Porta Coche. Look at all this rain. In fact, I feel completely just like relaxed right now even though there's like a tsunami happening like i don't feel hot i'm sure you can't hear a thing i'm saying because the wind is just smacking the phone it's blowing me almost here is the bus and look at he's pulling in close enough so that we don't get drenched yeah, what a guy i guess i'll sit here since this one is marked there's only five seats available on the bus uh -oh. we got two of them we're definitely going to get out of this storm, hopefully. I wonder how the animals are liking the rain right now. We made it to Kadani. Still raining, though. But look at that. Welcome home. Seriously, though, I know rain is just rain, but isn't that beautiful rain? Like, I like the way that it's, like, forming a line. And here is the lobby for Kidani. That kind of rhymes a little bit. Very beautiful, isn't it? I love all the colors and the lights in here. It's just a little bit smaller than Jumbo, but doesn't take away how beautiful it is. The viewing window 
is absolutely huge, just like over on the other side. And all the animals are probably just frolicking around in the rain. How cool is that to watch a lightning storm from in here? So because of the storm that's happening, did you just see that lightning? Because of the storm that's happening outside, uh, we can't really show you around the resort. So I wanted to calm down before we head back over to Jumbo. Grab myself a Bud Light and they have a covered section with some rocking chairs that we can watch the animals play in the rain. And I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> she likes that idea. I like it too. Hey. It's covered but it's wet. <laughs> Probably move the chair back a little bit so you don't get too wet. Oh, look at that. Look at how nifty it looks with the rain just rolling off of that. This is the whole entire front savanna here at Kadani. And you can see actually in the far distance over there, lots of giraffes just hanging out. I don't know what they're doing over there. Oh, I hope those giraffes don't get scared by what's about to happen. Oh boy, guys. So the biggest lightning strike just hit out of nowhere. And look at the animals. They're going crazy and I don't blame them. I wish I caught that on camera. That was insane, guys. I've never seen nothing like it. That's a lot of stuff. At the moment, it doesn't look like the rain is actually giving way. So we're gonna go down to Sanaa and see if we can actually get in without a reservation. I know they have a bar area, but I feel like it's gonna be super packed because this is the only restaurant that's open at Animal Kingdom Lodge for the moment. Here is Sanaa. It is fully booked for the night, but the bar is open for takeout only when it comes to drinks, of course. You can't just mingle in here. But look at that, such a pretty bar. Another really interesting thing about some of the bars and lounges at Disney World is they get the pick of the barrel. So this is a bottle of Knob Creek right here. And if you look right down there, it says exclusively for parks and resorts at Walt Disney World. And they literally get this made just for them. How awesome is that? So since we were actually in Sanaa and the rain stopped, we were able to go out and actually take a look at the animals from the main observation here at Kidani. Kind of excited about that. Oh, look at that. Clear skies, kind of, <laughs> but at least it's not raining. Oh, you're right. Look at over here, much better. But this is the main observation area here at Kadani. And right there they have the fireplace usually lit up at night. I don't know if they're doing that right now because of the current situation. But it would be nice to be able to watch some fire and animals all in one. Isn't that something nifty? A rainbow over the savannah. I like it. And we get to see the little baby giraffe right there. I don't think that's an actual grown giraffe i still think that's the little one that was here and i remember seeing it at a much smaller age it's gotten big over time so strange but if i was a member of the band zz top i'm pretty sure i have met my doppelhanger hey how you doing <laughs> look at the hat i wish i had there my poo i wish i had my poo mask on i got my animal kingdom mask on but look at that hat it'd be perfect look oh, Unbelievable. Look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Since Kadani is facing the opposite direction of the sunset, I decided to come down here and show you guys a little bit of what the sunset would look like. It's just not over anything pretty other than Florida's beautiful nature. Look at that. Beautiful. This is the front of Animal Kingdom Lodge. Now I think we're gonna leave Kadani and head back over to Jumbo. I gotta change out the battery in the camera, check on the view of our balcony, and then explore their main observation areas and their pool area too. I couldn't show you the pool area over at Kadani because it was raining so bad, but I might be able to show you one at Jumbo because it stopped. Before I head back up to the room to change out the battery, I just wanna point out 
what a big difference Kidani is to here. Like Kidani's actual lobby, may it be a lot smaller, had tons of people, not tons, I would say like 20 or 30, but not a single person over here in Jumbo. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? When I came back over to my room, take a look at the view now. We literally have so many different animals. Oh, and here comes a truck. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Look at all that. Oh, I think I scared them. <laughs> oh, here comes the giraffe. Here comes the giraffe, look at. This is so awesome that this is happening right outside the balcony. They're all coming to eat. Look at all of them. That's so cool, isn't it? I am super happy that we came back up to the room to get the battery because we would have missed all that awesome action that was happening. They were literally feeding all of the animals right in front of the balcony. That's awesome, isn't it? So now let's go back down to the third floor, which is the main lobby floor, and look around a little bit. Experience the Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're gonna head right down to the main observation area. I'm gonna still get some light out here too. This observation area is so much more bigger than over at Kidani. Lots more area to cover. I really wish the fire was going because right now it's beautiful skies. It is gorgeous out here. This is where the actual fireplace would normally be. But look at all of this beautifulness out here. And I like the music. This is great. But again, I'm still pretty fascinated with the fact that there's nobody out here. I don't even see a cast member. It's just me. I like it. Also, there's usually cast members out here that are kind of giving you a little bit of a guide showing off all the different animals. But literally, like I said, it is just us. If you're standing near the main lobby, I can show you where our room is. So this is one, and then two, and then three. So we are right there, right below that one. That's ours, I left the light on, because we always leave the light on here. Closest I've gotten to the zebras, they've been kind of staying away from the balcony area, more else in this middle grass area. Uh oh, what's going on over there? Have you ever wondered what it was like to see a giraffe eating something up close? Maybe. Thank you. This is really awesome. I'm really having such an amazing time. Do you hear all the sounds? Like I feel bad talking. I mean, there's nobody around me, but like just for my self enjoyment, I just kind of want to take it in and my own voice is literally blocking it out. And for now, I think I'm gonna head back up to the lobby area and actually make a left to go down to the pool. Check out all the other areas, like where Boma is. What does it look like when Boma's not open? So many questions. I'm also 100% certain that this is the most isolated stay I've had so far out of all the resorts. This is such a great place to come, actually. I don't know why more people aren't taking advantage of this. I mean, I understand Kadani is popular with the pool and the food, but I'd rather have like such a glamorous resort to yourself. I mean, that's amazing. This is the way that we get down to Boma in the pool area. Like I said, it's so strange seeing everything like this. This is one of my favorite little lounges. All pitch black, nobody open. Beautiful staircase though, I gotta say. Right over there is where Boma would be. Unbelievable. Last time I was here with Boma, I was with Gracie and her family. 
I can't wait for them to come back. Hopefully in 2021. But look, they got a little elephant and giraffe divider, so you can't even go in there. Chico is all closed up as well. And even the quick service. I thought maybe I'd get some zebra domes, but uh, no zebra domes today. Over on this side, the pool is closed because of the actual storm that just came by. They said just for a little bit longer, but that's awesome because it gives me the opportunity to show it to you guys. Normally, like I said, I don't like filming in the pool area when there's actually people in there. It's the perfect time though. Everywhere I turn, there's just some amazing scenery here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Like this is literally a pathway on the side of the pool, but I had to stop and just say, wow, that's beautiful. You have your pool chairs right here, but then just look up, look at all of this. I don't know if I'm just a little bit over dramatic, but I think that's gorgeous. It's starting to get dark out very quick. So I wanted to skip over on the other side of the pool, show you guys the flamingos because I hear them from like <laughs> at least 25 feet away. Sounds like they're having a party. It's a flamingo party. Hey guys. Anybody know where they get that pink skin color from? <laughs> oh, look at that poor duck in there. The duck's trying to get some food. Directly on the other side of the flamingo party, they actually used to have night vision safari viewing, and they used to give you night vision goggles so that you can actually look out on the savannah and see the animals at night, but I don't think they're doing that right now. I don't see how they could even try to do it right now. We're gonna take a gander over here anyway, and they have a little hot tub. They have two hot tubs here. Interesting. This is the dark side of the savannah right here. It really got dark out quick. Can't really see any animals, but it's really beautiful, especially with the music. The flamingos are still going to town over here. Crazy. I realized, I was like, well, how do I get back from my room from here? And I actually have to cross the drawbridge that's in the middle of the lobby. I got super excited. Now I'm like pacing my way over there. Look at this. How nifty, right? <laughs> Look how beautiful it is from this bridge. Oh, was that timed perfectly or what? Here's a good look at the other side. Well, the main lobby itself. Got some people down there finally. The parks have closed. Now here comes the big rush. Two people. The same floor that we're staying on is actually home to the Royal Asante Suite. Look at this. That is your door to your room. It even has a doorbell. This is one of the most expensive rooms here at Walt Disney World. Maybe tomorrow we're going to see if we can go inside of it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask, right? I mean, maybe just take a quick peek, see? Hello! Now that I'm back inside the room, I thought it'd be interesting just to show off the balcony at night. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see many animals, but maybe you'll see some lightning storms in the area, and then maybe some animals. Maybe you'll see some lightning animals. I don't know. I mean, it's going to be pretty interesting. Well, you definitely can't see the animals, but there is a giraffe right outside the balcony. We can see some interesting lightning, and then right in the middle there, if you see a little pink top, that right there is Expedition Everest, or Mount Everest. How awesome is that? We're going to try to zoom in on that. No, can't really see it much better, but it's there. That's all that counts. And on that note, I think it's time we go to bed. We got to wake up early, got to watch the sunrise, enjoy coffee on the balcony. I'm so excited for that, actually. And just get some good sleep, you know? So uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. 5 a.m. That's how we do things here. Sunrises, balconies, coffee, 
and music. I love it. Quick shout out to that mirror over there. That is the perfect nightlight. I absolutely loved it in here with that on. Now it's time to load up the good old Mr. Coffee. You know something I didn't notice? I thought this was a door that went to the other room. It's actually a closet. <laughs> I really thought this was like one of the... <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna get locked in this one. <laughs> and definitely big ups to Disney for stepping up their game. They now uh, put actual whole bottles of French vanilla coffee made in the rooms. So look at that. It's like they knew I was coming. Bud Light and coffee mate. It's time to see how the sleepy animals are. Look at that sky. It's beautiful out. Can't see them. I'll tell you what, you can't see them, but you can definitely smell them. Like, oh yeah, very strong. So here's an idea how things might work. I know I sound like I'm a sunrise expert, but I just kind of go off of a guess here. But it looks like the sun's probably gonna rise right about there, which is gonna give us a little bit of time because it needs to clear the tree line. That's what I want. I want that Lion King opening sunrise shot. I mean, I, that's what I want. I don't know if I'm gonna get it though. <laughs> if I don't get it, perfectly fine it's all about enjoying the moment and as long as I'm having fun which I don't think there's no way I can not have fun right now unless I drop my phone or camera I probably wouldn't have fun but just gotta enjoy it <laughs> all right it's just about that magic moment sunrise is about to peak coffee in hand ready to head out to the balcony I really think this is going to be beautiful. One thing has always led to another here, and Bambi was no exception. The wildlife scenes in this research yielded an unexpected dividend. An idea for a new motion picture series we called The True Life Adventure. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Unfortunately, my camera fell. Got this little thingy here. We're gonna move it back into its spot. There we go. I can't even believe that happened to me. <laughs> Did I not say that earlier? Remember I said nothing's gonna kill my spirits except for if my phone or my camera drops? I can't even believe it. This is insane. It's okay though. I'm just happy I was able to get the shots that I did get and uh, that it's actually still working. It's just the, the lens popped off. It fell off of literally, I'll show you where it fell off actually. I actually was setting my camera up on the tripod right up here because I was trying to get that sunrise shot. And luckily it didn't fall this way, but it fell backwards and bada bing bada boom. I saved all the pieces. <laughs> this was all this is actually all in the front of the camera. I don't think there's any way I can show you Camera is just like this right now at the moment. Like I said, I think it still works um, I'm just probably gonna have to get a new one. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> But 
we're not gonna let it get this down. It is such a beautiful view. Like I said, it was amazing. I am so happy. Actually, I was just as happy just sitting here as I was at the Boat Docker Wilderness Lodge. Definitely had the great feels happening. But I think that's gonna do it for me. I had such an amazing stay here. I loved every single moment of it. Even breaking my camera really couldn't keep me down. And like I said, don't worry about the camera. I'm gonna get it fixed. Either get it fixed or get it replaced. What are you gonna do, right? I just hope that the sunrise came out as good as I wanted it to, even though I missed a couple clips because I was basically panicking, trying to fix the camera and, uh, you know, getting it to work. But I think I got enough. I'm pretty sure I did. Anywho's, that's it. Thank you so much to uh, my family and friends in New Jersey. They're the reason I was able to uh, stay here tonight. My New Jersey friends. Yeah. And I think that's going to conclude our little staycation vlog series. Just for a little bit. I plan on getting some other resorts eventually. Um, but right now, five of them were great. Honestly, Polynesian, Grand Floridian, Wilderness Lodge, Boardwalk, Animal Kingdom Lodge. All amazing sunsets. Which one was your favorite? I plan on posting all of the sunsets on their own so that you can just watch the beautiful two-minute montages without having to skip through the video. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I enjoyed making them. Thank you to everyone that helped me support getting these rooms. Thank you to Frank. Thank you to Sandy and Jerry and my New Jersey friends. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.